Okay, so I'm going to show how we can set up this custom MIDI controller or foot switch uh, for use with Cubase. So first of all, I'm going to add a track, and it's going to be a MIDI track. So I'll just call this one MIDI, and then I'm going to add another track, and that one's going to be the audio for guitar. Okay, and so the guitar, I make sure that I'm using the guitar input. That works. And then the MIDI is armed. Now, for the MIDI input, I'm going to choose my custom foot switch, which I've called the Red Confetti Foot Switch. And then for the output, we're going to change that, but not yet. Okay, now for the guitar, I'm going to open up the uh, you know channel settings window here. And under the insert, I'm going to choose Amplitude 5. So there's Amplitude 5, it's loaded. Okay, so with Amplitude 5, now that it's loaded in the memory, I can go back to the main window. Here, I'm just going to close this temporarily. I can go back to the MIDI channel, and I can put the output, route the output to Guitar Insert 1 Amplitude 5 MIDI input. So not all plugins for guitars have MIDI inputs, but at least Amplitude does. Um, actually, let's go ahead and try Amplitude 4 to see if it also supports it. I don't know about the amp simulator. I'm pretty sure that doesn't support it, but here's the old Amplitude 4. And if I go back here, that supports it as well. Okay. Uh, and I'm expecting that, like, you know, not many others do. But I'm just going to choose 5 for now because that's what I've done. I'll explore the others in a moment. Okay. So Amplitude 5 is loaded, and my MIDI channel output is going to be to, to it. Okay, now of course if I wanted to, I could record the guitar and also record the MIDI, and it would record, of course, the foot switches that I press as I'm playing. So that would be cool. We don't need to do that right now. Now in Amplitude, if I go to the settings here, and I go to Control, and then Control Change, Okay, it shows these options. And what I can do is I can click on Preset Next and then click on Learn. And what it will do is it will wait for me to put in, the, um, press a button on the MIDI controller. So I'm going to press the second button because that's the next, the one I want to assign to the next, to go to the next preset. So I'm going to press that now. And boom, that is assigned now. Uh, in fact, actually it was assigned before because I didn't reset these. But, you know, if I... Uh, I don't know if I can clear these. I'm not. I don't want to mess it up. But clear. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So I can I can clear both of these, and then reassign. So this one here, I'm going to make it next, and then if I click on preset previous, hit learn, I can hit this one, and that'll now be the previous one. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Maybe, um, I'm not really sure what the loop mode is all about, but I'll just go ahead and assign 3 and 4 to loop 1 and 2. So learn. I'm not sure what's up with that functionality, but there we go. Okay, so now what's great is um, press OK to kind of like save these settings. It's taking a bit to close. What's going on here? I'm just waiting for it to process, I guess. That's very odd. Never had that happen. Let me try it again. So I go back here. Those are assigned, those are assigned. That's really weird. I'm not really sure what the OK is about. That might be a bug. I don't know. Anyway, it should be assigned. So let's move forward. If I, if I play this, it's a default setting mode. I press next. The reason it doesn't do anything is because I need to choose um, kind of like a folder for where the preset's at. Let me try it. Actually, now that it's got default at the bottom here, let's see what happens if I just go back. Oh, that does work. Okay. So back from the default to the last option in the legacy settings. And so now, okay, so that does work. I can go back, and now it's wall 
Wild Stereo Crunch, which is Legacy Wild Stereo Crunch. So if I go previous again, it should go to Wall of Tone. <laughs> thing is about there must be some kind of like a loop setting somewhere I'll have to learn about that later but anyway so that's how it's done uh, let's explore if we can do something else so instead of using amplitude let's see if maybe like amp simulator yeah it doesn't look like amp simulator supports that uh, where did this come from? Oh, that's that. Okay. So Amp Simulator doesn't look like... It might be possible to... Um, since this is an actual Steinberg plugin, there is this thing called Mini Remote where you can actually create your own device. Like, I've done this already. Um, where's it at? Let me see here. Here it is. Okay, so I've, I've created a foot switch thing, and I've disabled it, but I'm going to enable it now. And as you can see, it loads this, where it shows the, th the four different things. If I press a button, it'll do these. Now, I haven't figured out how to do this just right, but, um, like, you can, you can assign each, each thing and map them. Mapping assistant, okay. So, like, I can make it so that, you know, the, the first button does previous, the next one does next. This one is supposed to bypass a plugin. And the fourth one I haven't mapped out yet. But let's say if I chose the fourth one and then I chose to add a mapping, I don't think I want to add a page. I think I just want to. Let's see. Maybe up here? Oh, okay. When I click here, it shows up here. And then this is where the functions can be browsed. So if I wanted, like, the fourth one to be assigned to something, I could, like, assign it to... Uh, I can search, even. I don't like the idea of being able to start and stop. It's just start the song, but I can start and stop. So I just assign that. So now the fourth one will do a start and stop. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what happens if I close this out. Okay, that does stop and that does start. So, so MIDI remote is if you want to map it to something that's built into Cubase and there's a whole bunch of things to map it to, but I don't know, this uh, previous preset thing, I'm not sure what it applies to, because it's like, well, what preset does it apply to? Does it apply to, like, which plugin in the insert? If I'm, you know, I don't think it works with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what preset that works with. Let's see, let's see, let's click on this. Let's click on this editor again. So this is the remote manager, and... Uh, Edit. No, that's that. This is where you actually can drag in fader or buttons. You can basically you can basically draw out your device to to kind of mirror the actual device. But I don't think we need that. I'm looking for the mapper. Where's the? Oh, this is the mapper. Okay. So here's the mapper again. And so previous. So this is preset previous open close browser. I'm gonna make the first one do the open close browser so I know what it's talking about. And then this one here, I'm going to make it do, oh, track preset. Oh, so if I was to set different presets for the entire track, maybe, I could do next and previous, like this. So how does a track, this is the track. Where are the presets? Oh, track preset. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so what I could do is I could unload unload this so it's just clean. Okay, and so I could basically be like, okay, save this preset as 
clean no effects. So this could be anything. It could be the state of the track with inserts and EQ and whatever the fuck I want. Like hell, I could. Oh, I want to boost this a bit. So let's. Let's just say that's what I want. Now. Okay, so that's clean, no effects. I'm gonna click here and save track preset and just do the same one and tell it to override. Okay. Cool. And so now I can go in and I can add anything. Amp simulator. And I can load like uh, Classic Rock 2. Okay. So now I can save that as Save Track Preset. Just call it Rock. Guitar. Hit OK. Boom, now I have two presets. So now let's see if... Wait, what happened? Something happened. I, I'm on a... What the fuck is that shit? Okay, that's weird. Hold on. This is still the guitar track. And... Oh, this is like a... Oh, Cubase has a whole bunch of, like, presets that are just... Where's my presets, though? Freaking A. What happened to my presets? Well, anyway, the... the I'll have to figure that out. But the main idea... That one could... I have to press search for clean. Where's my clean? I don't even see my guitar rock thing in there. Oh, rock guitar. There it is. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Next. Oh, and the first button will open up a window of some sort. How does that work? Okay, so let's say I'll go open up the window. Okay, that's not working. But oh wow, 1960s. Well, anyway, you have to figure it out, but you can see it's working. Uh, why is it not? Oh, for some reason, each time it's like turning it off. Well, that's annoying. I'd want it to remain. I want it to remain armed so I can still hear the song. But anyway, that's the that's the gist of it. That's what that's how you can do it. Uh, cool. So enjoy.